Hello, it's Solimik. In today's video, we will be testing one of the professional scanners from Xtool and see how useful it will be when you are working on your car. It comes with a nice package and it will be protected to carrying around even if you drop it accidentally. So let's go ahead and open it and see what we have. All right, we have the manual. I can see we have a cable. Looks like it's not Bluetooth connected. I wish it was Bluetooth connected because when you're scanning a car, you can walk around the car, come to the engine. It will give you more mobility when you have Bluetooth connected. But this is what we have, charging cable. Here are the charger and all the adapters. And here is the scanner itself. All right, here is the scanner itself. Here is the rubber protection in the corners in case if you drop it. So with the manual, I like how they have two pages of manual and for detailed guide, they have a QR code so you can learn more about this device. You also get a packing list so you can check it what you are missing in the package. Here is the quality certificate card warranty with tested quality. It means that they tested the device and then they pack it for you, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Here's the power button. You're gonna hold it and it will turn on. All right, the scanner is on. When you turn it on, it will ask you about the email so you can make account. You can use it without making account, but when you have a problem, sending a report to the company, it will be way easier. So I recommend it to make account. It will take you a few seconds. Here's the interface. It's Android based. The good thing about this device, you can screen record it and it will be way easier for you guys to watch it. Now it's recording. We can also take a screenshot here. And this is the diagnostic tool we need. Let's plug it on the car and see what we have. One question I always get asked, why we need a professional scanner like this when we can buy something like this. You can read the code and you can also watch live data and you will know what's wrong with your car. But with something like this, not only you can read the code and you can watch live data, you can do coding. One of the important things about professional scanner, you can check the modules, you can turn them on and off individually, and you can also check any sensor or any motor on the car, any light individually. Because with these newer cars, let's say you have a problem with the window motor. When you're pressing the button, it will send the signal to the module. And then when the module knows that you press the button, then it will send the signal to the motor. Because after checking everything, then it will do the job for you. But when you have a problem somewhere, either the motor or the wire, when you're pressing the button, nothing happening. So with a scanner like this, you can check the module. You can send the signal directly to the motor. Then you will know either you have a problem with the module or you have a problem with the wire or the motor because when you are pressing the button you can see the signal as well it will turn it on and responding you either have a problem with the wire harness connection or the module so when you see the module sending signal and the motor not responding it means that the motor is not working or there is a problem with the wire so that's one simple example about using professional scanner so now let's plug the wire and test on the car all right now we can test it let's turn the ignition on all right it's connected we have diagnostic we have auto scan special function report update and more with more you have your profile vci management in scope if you are using in scope and you want to connect with it user manual and vehicle coverage so before going to diagnostic and auto scan we're going to go to special function here are all the special functions that we can change. We have oil reset, ABS bleeding, BMS reset, TPMS reset, injection coding, EPB reset, throttle adoption, EPS adoption, airbag reset, water pump, DPF region, power balance, CPS reset, gearbox adoption, tire size reset, suspension adoption, IMMO, ABS and EPS adoption, clutch adoption, control unit reset, speed limit, HV battery, rain light sensor, seat calibration, transport mode, stop start reset, EGR relay, turbo relay, instrument cluster, FRM reset, headlight, language change, windows initialization, EEPROM, AFR adoption. Now we can do diagnostic. Here you will choose your car, model, but the easier way to do auto scan. Here it will automatically pick the VIN number and it will automatically tell you your car model, brand and how many miles been on it. So here it's telling us the VIN number, North America, USA, Nissan Kicks, press OK. Now you can do it manually, 
but you also have auto scan so we're gonna go to automatic scan here it will check all the modules and if you have a problem it will show you but I think I don't have any problem with the modules here it's telling us 19 of 21 modules and still scanning now we have 21 of 21 modules and it's all done so here we don't have any problem if we go to body control modules diagnostic this is what I was talking about because with the normal scanner you can do this function let's go to door lock we can go to live data all right here it's showing us the module value let's say we are closing the door here it will show you the module turning on and off it's telling us that when we press the button it will send the signal to the module but if we go back to the actuation test door lock here we can send the signal to unlock it or lock it because previously we did it from the bottom and we could see the signal but here now we can do it ourselves this is one of the good functions you can do with a professional scanner not only for a door lock you can do it for any motor any light on the car and even the sensor let's go to the wiper you can do the same thing with the wiper as well front wiper or rear we have high speed low speed we can test it from here so these are the things you can do with a professional scanner another thing i found with this scanner it will show you a real mileage of your car so in my case i have 151,000 426 kilometers but if we check it on the dashboard we have less so i know this car being driven way more and they reset it and do some changing but if you have a scanner like this you can see the real number when you are buying a used car so when we check it on the dashboard we have 94,092 kilometers and when we check it on the scanner we have 151,426 kilometers so this is one of the scams they do for selling a used car so be aware of that here is the same test on my 2017 toyota camry we have 63,557 kilometers and on the dashboard we have 63,000 548 kilometers it's normal to have a small difference because of tire change but they are pretty close not like the nissan kicks we just checked using a scanner like this when you are buying a used car will be very handy the good thing about this scanner when you're checking your car and you find something wrong with it and you want to go online and find that problem you can basically go to the chrome here and you can watch youtube you can search on google and you don't have to pull your phone or go to your laptop you can do everything here the build quality is very good and also the screen is very clear when you are watching video or scanning your car the only thing i don't like about it is the cable i wish it was bluetooth connected so we can move around the car when we have a problem let's say we have a problem with the throttle body and we're gonna come here check it and check the wires but with the cable we have to leave it in the car and come and check these things and we know when it comes to bluetooth connected and all these functionalities the price will be higher i will make sure to put the product link in the video description box below so you can check it out let me know what else you guys want to see with using this scanner and i will make sure to put that video as soon as possible hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new if it was like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye for now